Summary of Poem by Annette Charge A soldier suddenly wakes up and realizes that he is running away from somewhere. His khaki uniform seems aren't finished, so they hurt his skin and make him sweat a lot. He is moving awkwardly over rough terrain towards a green hedge that is being lit up by gunfire. He can hear bullets hitting the air. His heavy rifle is hard for him to carry, like an extra arm that has lost all feeling. His eyes used to fill with patriotic tears, but now all he feels on his chest is fiery sweat. The soldier is so confused that he almost stops. He wonders all of a sudden what cold, calculated forces, like fate or politics, are running his life as if he were just a hand on a clock. He runs like a man floating in the dark, hoping that the act of running will help him find the answer to his question. Time seems to slow down, and his foot seems to stand still in the air in the middle of his step. Then bullets fly through the air and hit the ground nearby, making what looks like a yellow hair run around in circles with its mouth wide open but quiet and its eyes big. The soldier moves forward, aiming the blade at the green hedge on the end of his rifle. In the chaos of battle, a soldier can't think about things like patriotism, fighting for the king, human dignity, and other things like that. He or she can't afford to. As the soldier nervously reaches for his dynamite, the air around him explodes with blue light. About the speaker. Bayonet charge focuses on one character only, the soldier making that charge. Readers are never told who this soldier is fighting for, however, nor who his enemy is. This helps the poem's critique of war become more universal, the poem isn't condemning a certain side, but the act of war itself. The poem is told entirely in the third person, with no attempt to clarify or identify the speaker themselves. Yet, at the same time, the poem does have privileged access to the soldier's thoughts and feelings. Indeed, the poem's main focus is on the change of heart the soldier undergoes as he rushes towards the enemy, the complete switch in the way that he views war. The detachment of the poem's voice versus its intimate knowledge of the details of the soldier's mind creates a sense of tension in the poem, making the soldier seem like a distant figure. This adds to the sense that the soldier, though surrounded by other soldiers, is utterly alone, particularly in the cold light of his epiphany about the absurdity of war. Another way of looking at it is that there is a parallel between the way that the soldier suddenly feels himself to be a cog in the machinery of war, see the second stanza, and the way that the poem observes him from a distance, he is powerless over both the war and his role in the poem. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.